What's up guys, so recently, we heard that, Samsung and LG has also decided that, they won't work with Huawei, means, they will not supply, flagship display panels to the company. Anyway, if you want to get video like this, subscribe to this channel will be, phenomenal. Now, let's start the video. A few days back, we heard that, Huawei could even get processors, for its smartphones, which was, a huge issue for the brand, considering the fact that, the United States, is not letting companies to do business, with Huawei, and if a company wants to work with Huawei, they have to get a license from the United States, as an approval, but now, it seems Huawei have some hope, because AMD, which is a well-known chip-making company, might get the license to sell products to Huawei, I said, might get license, because, senior vice president, at AMD, has confirmed that, the company has been granted a license to sell its products, to some of the companies in the US entity list, it's noteworthy that, he hasn't revealed the names of the companies, for which AMD has been granted license to work, so, we are not sure if the Chinese giant Huawei, is in that list, however, his statement shed light on the fact that, the United States is giving out license to the companies for doing business with those firms, that are in the SNTD list. So sooner or later, licenses, can be granted to the companies, for doing business with Huawei, so it seems, United States is finally realizing that, Huawei is in the list of the world's best telecom giant company, and no doubt, Huawei has been doing business in the United States for years, and it was really beneficial for the United States, so, they might give an, American company a license to work with Huawei, to get a huge profit, because honestly speaking, it's a strange news that, AMD is an American based company, like Chinese companies, are not getting license, but a multinational American company might get it, but let's see what's gonna happen though, I really hope that M gets the license. The IFA, and the Huawei Developer Conference came, and went, and we saw not a single sign of the upcoming Huawei's Mate 40 series, as well as the new 5 nanometers Kirin chipset. Also, even Blasso is a trusted leakster said that, if you're waiting for the Mate 40 series, you won't be able to get your hands on one, until the very next year. So according to him, the Mate 40 series will be available next year, but it seems that's not the case here. Because, Richard you posted this video on the Huawei's official, UK Twitter, account, and assured that, the next generation made flagship is coming, anyway, I guess the new handset, will apparently be sold in China initially, and it will be online exclusive at first. I mean, Huawei will showcase the phone this year, but you can't get your hands on, until the very next year, so technically, the Mate 40 series is coming this year. So if you were disappointed, to see that the Mate 40 series, is delayed, that's not the case. So, what do you think about it? Do let me know your thoughts, on that in the comments down below. And if you like this video, subscribe to the channel will be amazing, and my name is Arjun, this is Digital Outside, I'll catch you guys, in the next one.